Welcome back, everybody. It's Old Man Apple Dreadnoughts, Grumma Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 13 of our Italian 1890 legendary campaign. So, uh, last episode, we were continuing our war with the Japanese, and we did close out our war with the British Empire. We did not get much out of it, but we did get a little bit. So, we still do have a bit of a funding issue. Uh, even at war, we're bringing in negative $83 million. And that's because I am once again building up my dockyards as we are way under tonnage for the size ships that we're going to start building here with the next uh, refit coming up in uh, 1925. So it's now February 1924. I do have the Battlecruiser Bruzo out in the Arabian Sea trying to hunt down some of these Japanese ships transiting through the area. Hopefully we can catch some of them out there and run up our war score pretty quickly. So I want this war with Japan over as quick as possible because I have no ambitions out here whatsoever. I have zero ambitions in the Pacific theater for this campaign. And we are currently staring at a war with the U.S. It comes as kind of a surprise to me. We're now at negative 83 relations with the United States. But that's also because the United States has African ambitions. We don't border each other in Africa, but they are now taking over colonies in Africa. They hold Mauritania, French Guiana, Liberia, and the Ivory Coast now. And it looks like they also grabbed uh, Equatorial Guinea. So they have ambitions in Africa. So we're going to have to put the state to those ambitions. Thankfully, we're not anywhere near war with Germany, which is kind of a boogeyman for us right now. They're down to 78 ships. They were more powerful. But their army can kick our ass. Our army logistics are at 92%. We only have 32 ships in our fleet. So, we do have to worry a little bit when it comes to Germany. Especially now we share a land border since they took Austria after its implosion. Who is this sitting out here? Oh, and I, did, I sent my battle fleet over here to see if we could enforce an invasion of Croatia, Slovenia. I should probably bring my Africa fleet into the region also. Maybe we'll have enough. We should have enough tonnage then to see if we can't force my uh, government to uh, focus on an invasion here in the Adriatic and take over some of these provinces in the Baltics. Probably not a good idea, but it, it falls under my campaign ambitions for reforming the Roman Empire or the Mediterranean. The, uh, turning the Mediterranean into a strictly Italian lake. Uh, the Spanish are still losing their war against Germany. They've lost control of northern Spain. They took southern France, but now it looks like they're going to be getting pushed out of southern Spain also. And Spain will be made up of southern France, which is kind of funny. This is a this is a weird weird world we got going on. It's a weird world. Though, so, still kind of stable for the most part. It looks weird, but still kind of stable for the most part. So, uh, I think this covers everything on the recap. So I'll come back in once we have some uh, action going on. Well, it's now September of 1924. And I have moved both of my fleets into the Southeast Asia region. And we finally have ourselves an engagement with the Japanese fleet, but it's only uh, three light cruisers and a bunch of destroyers. And they're taking on the uh, the Gaba Bauda fleet. So uh, we are off of Borneo. I brought my fleets out here to start landing on Borneo, basically. Even though I had no ambitions in the region, I really, really, really want this war with Japan to be over. So that my economy can uh, start regrowing itself and try to push off an invasion from the Americans at the same time. So don't want anything out here, but it looks like I'm going to be forced to uh, at least take Borneo away from Japan. And possibly station a fleet out here for future service. Not really happy about that. Didn't want anything here, but it is what it is. World's changing. It looks like Italy's entering the Asia region now. So we're going to jump into this fight and uh, hopefully they engage us. Every time I've, I've come across a few like cruiser destroyers on their own, they've always run from the engagements, you know, at max speed possible. So they've been hard to catch. Hopefully with this group here, they will fight. We've started engaging the Japanese light fleet here at a range of around 14 kilometers. 
now 10 kilometers off from each other. Like I said, this is all light cruisers and destroyers. I'm seeing the light cruisers right now. That's the destroyers behind them. Uh, we're moving at a max speed of 17 knots right now since uh, one of my ships is low on ammo. There's some destroyers coming up. Let's slow this down a little bit so I can target properly. Let's keep the heavy guns on that light. Put our secondaries onto that destroyer that's coming up on us. Also focus on that one. Perno, focus on that light cruiser. Ravenna. Targeting that destroyer. Agliamento. Start focusing on that light cruiser. Nasaga. You can engage whoever you want. You're actually firing at the destroyer, so that is good. We gotta take these down as quickly as possible. Oof, we're already in torpedo range. And I don't have a lot of speed. The light cruisers, I'm not worried about. It's all the destroyers. They have a lot of destroyers. Start screening us, perfect. Oh god, they got a four kilometer torpedo range. They probably already launched. They're gonna be launching soon. Devoso, focus on that destroyer, please. Same with the Ravenna. Doesn't look like they torped out. Yep, they will soon. Yep, there it comes. We don't have the speed to turn in and maneuver heavily. Everybody, just fire at will. Pick your targets. Should focus on the closer destroyers first. Another set of tort. We are not avoiding that one. Please be a dud. Please be a dud. Thank you, it was a dud. I do believe this does represent basically what's left of the Japanese fleet that we're looking at right now. Another set. Goblets detach you. Start sailing that way. Avoid those torps. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's another one we're not going to avoid. Oh, wait. Flank speed. We're off of the uh, rest of the ships now. I can uh, upgrade my speed and turn properly now. Looks like this one's still going to catch us. Right in the stern. Pass by, pass by. And it just clipped us. I'm right, ready back into the gobbles lineup. The saga is going to take the lead on that lineup, okay? Except the danger is kind of reduced now, so it can speed us up a bit. Look at the Kashi. Light cruisers we can hunt down at any time. It's these destroyers that have to go.
my destroyer's doing. Let's put you guys on AI control and let you do your own thing. And where are their destroyers going? Nothing ours down? Possibly. Destroyers are all low on fuel. Still got more back there. Nothing crazy about these designs. Actually, looks except for these two guns back here, almost looks like one of mine. This is gonna be more of a matter of hunting them down. AI is controlling these pretty well so far. I'm actually happy with that. Now if we can just hit the small little bastards. He's coming in on a tour run. Everybody focus on him. Somebody's going to eat those. Or maybe not if we're lucky. They might. Looks like they just passed right in between or blew up. That's good. Now the Japanese want to end the fight. Probably let them. I don't want to tangle with the destroyers again after this. Their torches those are almost reloaded. Let me focus on the little rod. He's coming in for another run. Sank good. You gonna cook all this for us or just sink? Yeah, just sinking, it looks like. Alright. Goodbye. There's one less ship to deal with. This should force the Japanese to peace table before I have to land on Borneo, maybe. I would like to have my ships back in port before the refit. And may let whoever that is just get away. A lot of shells coming at her. Ooh, good head. Goodbye. So far, only my battleship has been damaged. I won this here. We'll let the rest get away. I don't want to hunt them all down. And we got 7,100 victory points out of that. We lost 47 crewmen, so they're 2,122. 
Took down two to three light cruisers. And five of the eight destroyers. I think that's good enough. The rest of them should run back up to the home islands. Right, it's now January of 1925, and our war with Japan continues. We have just landed on and taken Sarawak away from them, and I have my fleets on the way around, swinging around the island to go take on Borneo. Uh, we've gotten the war score up to 38,000 points against them. We have fought some more of their ships. The uh, Japanese have been kind of lemon training their uh, what remains of their fleet at us in drips and drabs of three and four ships a pop. So, uh... It's been interesting, to say the least. Small battles where they kind of try to engage and disengage. It's, just, it's been touch and go with them since uh, for a while now. I'm slowly trying to hold off the Americans from beginning their war with us. Though, it every time I get a, po you know, get a positive number, get this going back up in our favor with our relations with the U.S., something drags it back down again. They're slightly friendly with the Japanese, but not allied with them. So, I can't see our war with Japan causing an issue with them, but it's, that's got to be what it is. Unless they just really want to go to war with me. I don't know. They do seem, like I said, they do seem to have some African and Mediterranean ambitions now. They are now attacking in the French Sudan. But uh, it's now January 1925, so it's time to go into the uh, ship refit. So I'm not going to be refitting anything, at least for a year. So all my ships are low on fuel and just getting them back to their home ports is going to take a while. All right, what do we got going on here? So I'm actually going to break my rules and continue. Uh, I normally stop after two refits on ships, but it looks like now that I hold an East Asia station, I'm going to have to keep some of these ships in service longer than their expected shelf life. So the Fruta Martorana class, which has already had two refits, is going to get another one. Do I actually don't even have any of these in service still. That's a good question. Do I even have any in service? I still have the five, the five original ones are still in service at Gibraltar. So they're going to have to stay in service a bit longer. So they are definitely getting a refit. And uh, the Gelato class has been selling like hotcakes. I've been building about nine of those a year for other nations, so. People seem to really like that class of destroyer. I don't know what it is about it, but then again, who doesn't like a good gelato? If you never had a gelato, you don't know what the hell you're missing out on. Right. Well, the hull is obsolete, but that doesn't mean we can't upgrade her any. She's at 1,027. Just knocked her down to 1,008. And we can go full oil one on the fuel now, which saves us a ton more weight. That brings her down to 961. So using forced boilers. We can go to turbo electric engines. Whoa, those are heavy. They're gear turbines. We're sticking with gear turbines. Those things are heavy. <laughs> Actually, I think we skipped an engine. I feel like we skipped an engine here. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Electric two steering. You should have unbalanced rudders. Four armor. Hull. These are just... These are guarding Gibraltar. They really don't need the triple hulls. No one's engaging us there. They, they just got a minefield laid out across the straits. That's the entire job. Uh, should we go to TNT2 from the Pickrick? Yeah, it's just safer to have on board. It's, uh, it's just safer. So we'll do that. Electrical turrets. We haven't gone any bigger than 20 inch torpedoes yet and go... So even with the stereoscopic... No, they don't need long range fire. They're going to go coincidence. Hydrophones, RDF radios, 
Mind Slayer 2. You don't need mind sweeping abilities, but you do need death charges. 990 of 1050. So it's length on those three inches up there, 12%. Let's see if we can get those electrics on there. No, way too heavy, way too heavy. Look at three engines, 1,013, 1,050. Can we get a little more range? All right, 1,044 over 1,050, 7,300 kilometer range. We'll roll with it. All right, now the gelatos get their second refit. Like I've been saying, these things have been selling like hotcakes. They're very popular on the foreign market. So keeping these around a while does work for us. Until this hole becomes obsolete, and then they'll start buying something else. All right, so we're at 1,273 or 1,300 tons. Let's go to foil one. Drops are at 1,211. So we're not going to be getting much out of this. Crypt four drops us at 1,203. Keep them with the, we'll go coincidence four on them, the better depth charges. We go depth charge one to depth charge three. We completely skipped depth charge two. I guess we're still researching those. I don't know. <laughs> so now we got the best mine hunting gear we can give her right now. Brings her back to 1237 to three, 1300. So let's see if we can pop a little more range on there. 70, ooh, a little too much. That's four tons overweight. Okay. 5,800 kilometer range, 38 knots of speed. Uh, from now on, I'm never going to go over the recommended hull weight for my ships as it really, really runs up their price. So that's something I'm going to avoid from now on. So we can go up to spacious quarters, 1,287 to 1,300. Not much of an improvement. So she's got the upgraded guns. They are now Mark 3s and Mark 3 on the deck tubes. So she should be a little bit, just that slightly bit more deadly for us. All right, the Marin Glossy class now gets its first refit. What do we have on here? We got the triple launchers on back. Mark three four inch guns. The launchers are Mark threes also. So no improvement on her weapons. Dropped to 1468 to 1500. She's got like no range. Really got to fix that. Oil. We got auxiliary threes, crypto four armor. Not saving a lot of weight here. So we got the TNT. Better depth charges. Here we got the best mine lane equipment, 1439 to 1500. Give her standard quarters, that's 1449 to 1500. Really couldn't do much to her because we're using most of her tonnage already, though we could build some nice heavier ships at this point. So I can go up to about 1600, I think, on the next class. So we didn't do much on this one, sadly. Really want to increase her range. That range really now i'm moving ships i'm gonna to have to start moving ships into the far east i really want maximum range on all my ships but we're not going to get that out of this destroyer design it looks like all right now we get to design ourselves a new destroyer we're using the destroyer three hole we got these up to 1700 tons it's nice it gives us plenty to play with this one will be the Neapolitan ice cream class. Because who doesn't like a good Neapolitan? Right, what speed do we get on her? We get 34.2, so we'll give her 34 even on her speed. Max out the range, spacious quarters off the bat, and then work from there. As, as I said, I want max range on all these ships now. We're going to have to start sending them further and further afield. And I hate seeing these refit towers. I hate seeing them. I gotta increase, gotta max out the beam in order to use them, and that's just not something I'm willing to do on a destroyer. Then funnel three, rear tower. That's on here. 
in guns. Do I want to give her the fives? They are Mark three. I may reduce the size. We'll see. I even fit this five on there. I want these to be a little more deadly. We're moving, we're moving on in years now, so things need to get a little deadlier. And we do have a quad launchers now. There. Okay, we're still under tonnage there. Very good. How does our balance look? Central line balance looks fine. Four weight offset says 23%. We will see how this looks. Just about oil one that drops us to twelve twenty-five. Force boilers, turbo electric engines still underweight. Three. It's gonna be one expensive destroyer. Bounce rudder, steering. Four. Looks like we might get everything on here, possibly. We are to drop weight somewhere. Don't need to upgrade our armor. Let's drop her down to standard quarter, 1744, 1700. 15,000 kilometer range. Okay, we can drop that down. 1701, so we're one ton overweight. One ton overweight. So actually, let's run up the range again. We're going to change the fives over to fours. I think they're still good for what we've been fighting. But it is going to, it is going to have to change on the next set of destroyers. There we go. Give us back up to spacious quarters. That puts us overweight by nine tons. Sixteen seventy-seven to seventeen hundred. One hundred three million dollar price tag on this thing. Let's up this main deck. Get that pitch and roll down. Don't get it down by much, but that's fine. Once again, as with all my destroyers and torpedo boats, pitch and roll sucks, but I do man these things with uh, prisoners. You got your choice. Go to prison or serve on a destroyer. I'd probably take prison over this thing, but it is what it is. She looks sexy, though. And putting out a spread of eight torpedoes at a time, she should be nice and deadly. And we don't have the increased range on these yet. I came up just shy of getting... He went shy on the refit to get in the new range. So these have a range of 7.3. I the nine the next level of propulsion gives me nine kilometers. I just did not get that unlocked yet. But I think we'll roll with her. Alright, now we're on to the Perugia class of light cruisers, which really want to phase these damn things out, but uh they are now going to get an extended lease on life instead of going to guard some port somewhere. As Once again, as I said, we're going to be building a Far East fleet. So they're going to be send, serving in the main battle line for a time yet. Let's see what we can do. Started at 7,799. That brought her down to 7,618. Already got max range, spacious quarters. Let's give her the oil one. Force boilers, give her auxiliary three. We already gave her turbo electric engines in the last refit, apparently. Okay. Unbalanced rudder. I don't know why I have an unbalanced rudder on this ship, but we'll let that stand. Two steering. Four armor. Triple hull. The Perugia herself took a torpedo in the last fight from a destroyer we didn't even see, so I think adding the extra hull will help. She really did not take that hit very well. T1, TNT2, electrical turrets. Can't make the torpedoes any bigger. 
She only has a seven inch gun, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna give her the coincidence for range finders. I'm gonna use the stereoscopics on the heavy cruisers up. And like cruisers and destroyers will keep on with the uh, coincidence range finders as their shorter range. And depth charge three. I still think it's funny that we totally skipped over depth charge two. You never know how technology is going to unlock in this game. It's kind of weird sometimes. All right, we got some room to play with here. So let's increase the range on these three just a little more. And armor her up. Far exceeding her original build price. 4.9 belt, 4.9 main deck. Or wait, still a little off, so let's fix that. Three inch F belt, 7,996 of 8,000. Can I get something else in here? I don't think we can touch anything in here. Inner deck, too much. First inner belt, there we go. 7,999 of 8,000. You can extend at least some life in a battle line, girl. All right, it's time for the Ravenna class to get their second refit. I really can't reiterate how much I hate these hulls. I really can't. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thankfully, we could stop using them now with the newer light cruisers. Let's see what we can do to you. That brings you down to 9,200 tons. You already have max range and spacious quarters. Let's... uh. Let's upgrade what we can here once again. You already got the turbo electric engines. Two, four. four hull. Got ballistic two. You already got two pattern TNT. Turrets. Oh, you saw the stereoscopic two rangefinder, really? I must have missed that on the refit. She has coincidence. And I did not give her mines. Okay. And death charge three. 8,994, 9,500. Once again, we're just going to armor the hell out of this thing. Give it a little more survivability. 4.8 as big as we can go. I thought we got 4.9 on the same hull. Huh. That's a little overweight. All right. 4.5 main deck, 494, four weight offsets actually under control, pitch and roll are under control, tonnage on her inner belt, or inner deck, 9,498 and 9,500, not much we could do to her. All right, it's time for the Matera class of light cruisers to get their first refit. And the more I look at this thing, I know I said I liked it, but uh, the more I look at it, and I just, in the back of my head, I just, I just hear the song, the thing that should not be playing the back of my head when I look at this thing. <laughs> and let's see what we could do for her. I don't think too much. Once again, there's really not much we can do for the up. Raids. We didn't unlock a lot. Dropped her down some tonnage. Give her to oil. She's already got auxiliary three. Electric steering. And these really have not been performing too well in the battle line either, to be honest with you. Capitalistic two. It's layer two, depth charge three, 10,730, 11,005. We got some tonnage to play with, and that's all going into armor. I gave her 3.9 guns already at max length. I'm not sure how much armor we can put on this hull. 2.6 is as high as we can go on the armor for this hull. That's why they have not been performing well. Okay. Let's armor her all the way around. As much as we can give her everywhere. 11,275, 11,500. So we actually still have room to play with. There's nothing else we can give her. 
to maybe a little more speed, which I'm not apt to do right now, because I think I get her the best speed for her hull. I guess leaving a few hundred tons for the next refit's a good idea, because we cannot put any bigger guns on here. And I got no place to fit any more guns on her. <laughs> I took up all that space. Throw some secondaries on there, but I think that's just be useless. All right, she'll roll as is. All right, now we get to design ourselves a new light cruiser. I'm going to continue using the light cruiser four hull, even though they don't have a lot of armor on them, as it's just a matter of the max amount of tonnage. <sighs> yeah, these max at 12.5, semi-armored max at 10,000. I can't put as many seven inches on the semi-armored cruiser hull, so we'll stick with the light cruiser four, even though she doesn't get a lot of armor. I'm going to increase her beam, which is for some all the way up. It's 27 knots max. Is that range? Three quarters. I'm going to have a lot of room to play with, so... We can build her up to 12,000 tons. And this will be... The Luca class. Now, just as a reminder, if you are a channel member and you'd like a light cruiser with uh, your name or chosen name on it, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're a channel viewer, you can have a destroyer. I'll happily oblige you whatever name you would so choose, as long as it's not too offensive. All right, let's start giving her everything. One force boilers, electric turbines. I know we're going to have plenty of space to play with on this. Uh... Keep on a semi-bounced rudder for this design. Electric two steering. Four, triple bottom. All the goodies. All right, now let's put the main guns on. Still can't do a side-by-side -side mount. Forward. I'll drop those there, though I don't think they're going to sit there. We'll see if they'll work with the tower. Let me rotate you and get you fit. No. That would have been nice. Actually, let me pull these off for now. We'll see once the tower is on. No, those definitely won't sit there. Not with the tower. Do smuggles. Uh, go with the very smalls. What are we looking at here? 25%, 6.2 target signature, 6 target signature. I guess we have to do smalls. Can I get you any further back? No, I cannot. That rotation, eh, a little bit, but not much. Case baits, three inches. And sevens. Let's see, can we inc go up to 7.9 on these again, give them that little extra oomph? Same with the threes. We'll bring them to 3.9. Increase the length on those. Because we got plenty of room to play with. That's and I can put deck launchers on here. Give her a pair of forward quad launchers. What about a pair of rear quad? Yes. Yes. Oh, she's going to be sending some fish out into the water. Let's throw some underwaters on her also, just to give her a few extra torpedo shots. Basically, a nine torpedo broadside, which should be a surprise for anything that goes up against her. Let's max out that torpedo armament also. Inches. I 
Let's turn that off so we don't lose anything. Is that not going to uh, put them up to 20s? They're not going to fit forward. Okay, we'll have to see if we can fix that. Let's see if we can do something about these launchers. Okay, they will fit. Let me clear up that one. So we can make them work. They shouldn't be able to sit there, but the game says it's fine, so we'll go with it. <laughs> the game says it's good. It's good. And max out her armor, which is not a lot. Still have a ton of tonnage to play with. That four weight is really off. Did I drop those forward launchers? One. Uh, da, da, da. Actually, let's drop some off the four belt and four deck. I'm thinking. Bring it down to two. Bring this down to two. Eleven thousand eight twenty one of twelve thousand tons. Rolls not that great. Why can I not shift her around on my view? Why is my mouse not working? There we go. We got some extra tonnage to play with on the next refit, I'm guessing. We can't really add anything else onto her. Unless I can put another set of torpedoes in the back to handle that offset on the weight. But not with that gun there. That's not going to happen. We can't put anything down there right now. Okay, I think she'll... I think she'll do. I think she'll do. So I just armor up the guns and the barbettes, but really no point in that. Five inch barbette. Current armor is basically as good as it can get. Two inch on the top. 1,840, 12,000. Eh, we'll leave, we'll leave a few tons on to use there. That's fine. I think she'll fight. All right, we're now going to refit the heavy cruiser Brenta. And I thought these would be out of service already, but uh, the replacement heavy cruiser, the Renault class, did not survive. They have both been sent to the bottom, and their replacements are in the water. So this ship is definitely getting another lease on life. I thought they'd actually be out of service already, but they did better than their replacement design did. So uh, let's get into her. And she really is a pocket battleship when you look at her, too. So this was a pretty damn good design. She, she's done very well for us. All right, let's max her range now. I don't think we're going to get that out of her, but we'll see. Let's give her oil one. She's already got the upgrades on the engines. She's steering. Four armor. Yep, still overweight. All right, I'm going to have to drop her range down. Overweight. Let's drop that again. 11,088, 11,118. Okay. We got tube powder, tube bursting charge, cap ballistic two, depth charge three. We're going to leave her with the stereoscopic. Nope, that is not going to sit on her. And she really does not have a lot of armor. She is a glass cannon as a heavy cruiser, though. She's been doing us well, so I don't want to take down our armor. So we'll leave her with Death Charge 1 for now. We haven't fought any submarines yet, but I have started to see them pop up on the map. So that is something to be cognizant of. Let's increase the length on these fives. Oh, 
forgot we didn't increase the length because these two will not work. I could change their orientation, but I do want them to have that forward firing arc. Uh, all right, just uh, see what we can fit on the main deck here, which is not much. Yeah, that's it. That's all we can do to this thing. She's getting old and showing it. All right, now we get to refit the Tagliamento class. As uh, as I stated previously, the Renaults are no longer with us. So I deleted that design. And basically, the Heavy Cruisers are basically Dreadnought designs at this point. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do with this one. We'll definitely get some weight saving. Maybe throw some more armor on her, but not much other than that. We got max range, spacious quarters. Well, one, she's already got the better engines. Give it a better steering. Four armor. Triple bottom. She's already got the upgraded ammo ordnance. Leave her on stereoscopic for the range finding. Give her an RDF. Charge three. And that leaves us with some tonnage to play with. It seems like my light cruisers do have more armor than my heavy cruisers do. Eh, how much can we put on you? Six inches still left us with a lot of space to play with. Finally going to armor her up like a heavy cruiser. 13,946, a little more on the main deck. Let's drop this to 7.5. I want to try and get this pitch and roll under control. Let's keep going up on the main deck until the pitch and roll. There we go. And we'll drop off the main belt. Too much. There we go. 13,992 of 14,000. A little more on her inner citadel. Nope. 13,996 of 14,000. Like I said, we couldn't do much with her. We haven't really upgraded too much. What guns does she have? 11 inch Mark III's. Okay. We'll roll with it. All right. Time for a new heavy cruiser. And this is going to essentially be the same design as the other one, just a little more tonnage. So I think we can only go about 500 tons heavier. Yeah, we can go 14.5 on this hull from the 14,000 on the previous hull. And stick with our naming convention of Italian Rivers for the Heavy Cruiser class. What speed can we get out of you? 19.5, so we'll make that 20. Actually, be one of the slowest ships in the fleet right now. It's rough. Run the beam out fully. Something we couldn't do on with 14,000 tons. I don't think we could run the beam fully out on this hull. Spacious quarters and guns. Still going to go with the 11. So we're probably going to run up the caliber to 11.9 if I can. Compact down our insides here as much as we can. I don't know if we're going to go with. I'm actually not having a lot of space here at all. Hmm. Go. Uh, everything just kind of barely fits on it on this hull design at this point. Oh lord, <laughs> we are not going to have a good rotation on these turrets. Oh lordy! All right, five inch on the casemates, big as we can go. Let's wing mount some torps on her. 
So we got all these casemates. We don't need to. Put any secondaries on, I don't think. Give her triple tor Oh. 12 torpedo broadside. We get a 13 torpedo broadside right there. Ooh, she's going to pack a surprising punch. If she survives, we'll see how she does in a fight. I'm not really big on the torpedoes, but I've been getting my ass handed to me by torpedoes. So I think the more and more I can put out, the better off I'll be. Even if not very well aimed, just having spreads out there is going to help me. Oil one, forced boilers, electric, auxiliary three. F2, balanced rudder, F2 steering, armor, vet four, anti torp three, triple hull bottom, bulkheads, anti flood two. Actually, I got to run up the torpedo size and see if these will still fit. I think we might have an issue with that one. Ballistic, two, two power one, TNT two, turrets, enhanced reload, 20 torpedoes. Okay, saying something badly placed, but it's not highlighting anything. Not highlighting what's badly placed. Everything's showing green. What is badly placed? Ah, it's that one. Let's just get rid of you. Move you right there. There we go. Range finder, we want stereoscopic on you. Throw RDF. Charge three. 13,577 to 14,005. Let's armor up that main deck, get the pitch and roll down, then we'll armor up the belt. Actually, let's get the fives out to max length. I'm not going to increase their caliber. Let's put the 11s to 11.9. These are Mark 3s. Uh, give us on a reload. 51 seconds on 11.9s with a trained crew. So that's actually good. So it should drop into the 40s with a veteran crew. I'm liking the way she looks. To be honest with you. I'm liking the way she looks. All right, once again, main deck at that pitch and roll down. And that put us overweight, okay. So let's go two on the main deck. And actually, let's drop these down a little bit. Let's go 10 inches on that, 10 inch on the barbette. Give us some more room to play with. Pitch and roll should not be this badly off. Let's bring this down to 3.5 on the deck and get this belt armor up to 5. There we go. Let's go to 4 here. And increase that main belt up. One five point nine on the belt, four on the main, less than an inch everywhere else. I think she'll be fine. She can definitely scare away whatever comes close to us with all that torpedoes. <laughs> we'll try her out. This is called an expensive experiment, is what we'll call this. All right, it's now time to refit the Abruzzo. Which has been doing us some good service. We can't build this hole anymore. 
She is still doing us very good. All right. Let's take a look here. What can we do to you? Let's max out that range. Puts us overweight. We'll drop that down again real fast. There we go. We got the improved engines. More armor. Or Citadel. Second Citadel set. We got the improved armaments. Stratoscopic 3, Hydro. Get, definitely need an RDF to stay up. These battle cruisers do operate on their own. And I'm just going to refit the two that I already have. I'm not sure if I'm going to... I'm going to re... I don't see a need to replace her or the other battle cruiser yet, so we're not going to design a new one just yet, because they've both been doing very well for me the way they are. So let's increase her sevens as far as we can. 12% length increase. Okay, that gives them a range. But AP 15 kilometers, HE 14 kilometers. Okay. My 13s have a range of 25 and 22 respectively. Okay, I like that. 26,537. Let's increase that belt up on her, and I think that's all we can do for her. Her four weight's still way off. I just realized that. So, nine inch main belt. Touch and roll are fine. So, let's just increase this uh, F belt and F deck and get that four weight under control. I did not realize it was that bad. I could drop that main tower back, but that's going to increase the refit time, and I don't want to do that. There, 10.4 main belt. Okay, there we go. A little more survivable. A little more survivable. That's all that matters. And 29 knots is good. She hasn't really come across anything faster than her other than destroyers. They've just been more of an annoyance for her than anything. So we'll roll with it. All right, it's now time to refit the Apulia. And once again, like I said, they've been doing us good service, so let's see what we can do to keep her alive. She's got the 14-inch Mark III's. I, originally, the 14s were a mistake because they were Mark Gun ones, but uh, now they're a Mark III, so that's fine. I thought I, I was thinking about replacing them because they were still Mark 1s, but I see they're upgraded to Mark 3s now, so we're not going to replace them. I was going to downgrade to 13s if I had to because of the Mark 3s. All right. Take range up there. Giving you the new goodies. Good, I brought you underweight, so we're not adding any more armor on. You got everything else that you need, basically, except for the RDF. 20,301. Four weights way, my four weight on this design, both designs is just horrible. But they've been serving me well, even though they're digging their bowels into the water, they've been good to me. Uh. I'm really going to drag down that four weight off. So I just, between the tower and the guns, there's just a lot of weight up forward. That's looking better. That is as good as we're going to get. Half the belt's as thick as the main belt of 7 and <laughs> Oh, God. That's as good as we're going to get. We really can't, we can't do anything to this ship. So we're going to go ahead and go design the next one. I'm not going to build it. I'm just going to have the design ready to go in case one of these two does go down on me. As I said, we're going to design ourselves a new battle cruiser, even though we're not going to build it just yet, because I don't need to replace the two that I have. So this one is going to be the Basilicata. And 
and we are using the Battle Cruiser three hole design now. One and two. I don't even think we use Battle Cruiser two hole design at all. Are now obsolete. Let's max out that beam so we squeeze out the most tons we can out of her. Should be thirty four thousand nine hundred forty two tons. 28.5 on this hull, so let's give her 29. Max out that range, max out the quarters. Let's see how we can armor this girl. So we got 16s now, but we just unlocked them, so they're Mark 1s. 15s are still Mark 1s, so we'll be going with 14s on this design. I don't know if this barbette will hold that. Let's see. It says it will. I don't know. And let's take a look at our secondary towers. I might be able to put... Now this one does not have a built-in barbette. I was going to see if it had a built-in barbette or not. Put you up here. I can. I kind of want you down there, I think. Actually, can I get you up here? I'm going I'm trying to drag the weight. No, let's put her back down here. I'm going to try and drag the weight back as much as possible so I'm not dealing with the same issues I have with the other designs. It's not going to sit there. Do I have the tall barbette? There we go. Funnels, what do we got? 12 funnel 6. That's a big funnel. Let's drag you back as far as we can. Still got a lot of four weight offset. We only get we only get the one advanced tower choice. Let's drop you back. Still have a four weight offset. Even with all this weight back here, we still have a four weight offset. What the You sit in there. I don't think that's going to sit in there unless I move her forward one position. Come on, you know you want to sit. There you go. Let's get another tall funnel back here on the other tower. There we go. Now the four weight's under control, so I can't even put another gun up there without throwing the weight off completely. But you need secondaries. We have no casemates. Oh, what's our turn on this? Okay, that's actually good. She's got a good spin on that turret. And this one can basically go all the way. This one can go rotate all the way around in a circle. So no casemates on her. So definitely secondaries. We go with eight inches if we can. You'll be fine there. I want to move you forward. That did not mirror. And I want to drop. Some triple launchers on her. Or quad launchers. Those there, yes. Got to get any down here. There we go. 12 torpedo broadside. What about underwaters? What do we got? 14 torpedo broadside. I'm really running up the weight. May have to drop these eights down. We'll see in a second here. We'll see in a second. 
Start getting all the goodies on board. to drop those eights down. I think we'll drop the eights down the fives. They're just there to keep away torpedo boats and destroyers anyway. So I think we're going to drop those to fives. Let's give you increased torpedo ammo. It's got a green finder. Phones already up. I wish we had depth charges for these. All right. 37,000 to 34,000. I mean, I could drop armor off the turrets. Once again, what are these piercing at? And these are badly placed now. Go ahead and delete. Let's replace these if we can. That's how we get them back on. Good. All right, what's our pen on these? Right, we drop this down to eight. Definitely drop now down to eight. Yeah, no, these eight inches have to go. All right, let's go to five inch duels. There we go. 34,220, 34,942. Four weight pitch and roller under control. So let's armor up this main belt. 10.2 is as big as we can get. Okay, main deck now. Running up that four weight offset again, so a bit on the F deck. And let's increase the length on these fives. How far could I put these? Go up to 12%. Oh, we're still underweight 34,915, 34,942. Did a little armor onto the superstructure. 34,942 even. Let's drop that down one point just in case of flaws. Might have a hard time building it. I don't like how far back my towers are. But to keep that, that fort weight offset balanced, we had to build them all the way back here. It's just weird looking. It's just weird looking. She almost looks backwards, to be honest with you. She almost looks backwards the way she's set up. Yeah, I could throw another main turret on there, but I don't see a need to. Then again, we're not building this either unless one of the other two gets sunk, so we'll roll with it for now. All right, now it's time for the Nero to get a refit. And this, I've been happy with the Nero. She has <laughs> just as crazy as her namesake. It's taken some damage in battles, but not much. I've been surviving torpedo hits like a champ. And her batteries, are one, once she has a ranging shot in, the amount of guns I have on her, she's just, even with bad aim, just the amount of firepower she's sending out just cripples whatever's in front of her. 
But once again, not much we can do here. Let's get that range maxed out if we can. Drop in the oil. There we go. Got her back underweight. Should have got the better engines. Two steering. Armor. There we go. Dropped off quite a bit of weight there. Not much, though. We got heavy shell size already. Electrical turrets. RDF, 30,515 and 31,766. Let's increase the length on her sevens. 30,547. Throw some armor on that aft deck. Get that little bit of four weight offset she has basically gone. Oh, now we got an F weight offset. You don't get that happening. All right, let's increase her belt. Actually, what I should do is increase her superstructure. 12 inch main belt. And three inch superstructure on her. 31,135. Bring the forward deck up to 3%. Yeah, I still have a lot of room to play with here. Yeah, I have not increased the main deck. There we go. Can't forget that. Really haven't come across any battleships yet. Now, I haven't recently fought any battleships that have been a problem for us, but that's going to start changing soon. All right, now it's time to refit the Galba. And sadly, this one has not been doing as well as the Nero. Even it's even if it is a newer design, she just doesn't have the same amount of firepower. I mean, she's got bigger guns, but she's not putting out the same amount of ordnance. She only has four batteries instead of the six batteries. But uh, and we're not going to change that. We're going to keep her the way she is. I think the bigger problem was was her guns. Is yeah, the 15s are still Mark One. That's her biggest issue. Is her aim? It's still Mark Ones. All right, that's the big problem. I'm wondering why she wasn't doing as well as the Nero. It's it's the uh, the guns. Now let's run your range up all the way. All going in yet? We may not get our underweight again. Nope, there we go. That's really all we can do with her. Besides the RDF, might put her overweight. Nope. Okay, thirty-six thousand two ninety-seven. I really wish there was more. Do I put an 11 inch belt? Five, five, four. So I can get some deck torpedoes on her. Yes, I can. Actually, what type of ammo is she carrying? I got her with the super heavy shells. Okay. Let's give her some uh, torpedo broadsides. I know I, I said I was not going to put torpedoes. On my battleships, so I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of seeing a need for it right now. Come on, you'll sit. Not a great angle, though. Can I put you here and not be an issue? I can. can you fire over that. No. But the two mains face the rear anyway, so that's fine. That actually put us overweight. Here we go. 36,814 at 37,060. Can I give her an increased torpedo complement? 37,026, 37,060. So, yeah, just change over her fuel type and added some torpedoes onto her. It's basically all we did. Let's uh, go start designing the uh, new battleship. All right, now it's time for the new battleship. And this one is going to be named the Otho. Once again, sticking with the Emperor names for the battleships. And Otho replaced Galba as Emperor by leading a coup using the Praetorian Guard. And Galba took over from Nero after he committed suicide. So I think we're starting to see a trend here. Let's increase the beam all the way up. 
what speed can we get on this hole? Dreadnought 5 goes 24.5, so we'll give her 25 knots of speed, which makes her my fastest battleship so far. Displacement-wise, she gets 59,296 tons. Got spacious quarters, max range. All right, guns, guns, and guns. I'm going to see if I can get six batteries back onto this design. Let's start with the towers. Go with the secondary tower, put it back as far as we can. You can hold a tall funnel. I know that. Main tower, get advanced tower two. Okay. Tall funnel four right behind you. Stack back just a little bit more. All right, let's see what we can do guns wise. If I could slide this forward a little more to get a third battery back here, I will. Guns, guns, guns. All right, the 15s are still Mark 1s. 16s are Mark 1s. We just designed those. So we'll be going with 14 inches on her. It's a downgrade in her gun size, but they got longer range than 16s do right now. I don't think we're going to be able to... No. This whole design, we're not going to get three turrets forward. I'll see. It's my tall superimposed bar bet. That'll hold a 14. Four weights way up there, but I'm about to change that again. There. All right, so we're not going to get all six batteries on. That's fine. No barbettes either. Secondaries. We got 42,000, 642, 59,000. We're going to start with the eights and we'll shift downwards if we need to. And you're not going to sit there because of that turret. Do I keep that turret or not? Mm, yeah, we'll keep it for now. Torpedo launchers. You sit there, but you can sit there. And you can go there. Can I get you on here? I can get you on there. 12 torpedo broadside plus underwaters. 15 torpedo broadside. I'm not going to put a four. I don't. I'm not going to put a fore or aft launcher on this. They never really ever fire off when I do have them, so I'm just going to leave them off. Probably should have done that on the other designs, too. 45,514. Let's start adding everything on and uh, see what we get. Another secondary turret. Just for that protection from destroyers. They're they're just they're my biggest worry when it comes to my uh, capitals. Uh I'm gonna go with a standard ratio for this ship. I find myself needing out armor piercing more than incendiary, and I don't have enough armor piercing. Go with the super heavy shells once again. We're 
have to shift these torpedoes. No. All right. This torpedo complement. Nope, you're going with stereoscopic three. Microphones, RDF. 3,849. Okay. Let's increase the length on these eights. Twenty-two thousand kilometer range, almost twenty-three. That's pretty damn good. What's our engine efficiency? T thirty-nine. Four weight's still a little off, but that's not bad. Pitch and roller. <laughs> Pitch and roller are actually friggin' good. Holy crap! I'm not used to that. Now let's run this main belt up to fifteen. Still gives us plenty of weight. Can I get twenty inches on her? Yep. But nineteen point one is as far as we can go. Okay. Let's go to five inch deck. Now the four weights off. Actually, let's go with an eight inch deck. This is 57. A six inch aft belt. That's bringing this down. Let's go 10 inch aft belt. There we go. Five inch aft deck. 58,740, 59,296. Let's increase the armor on this superstructure up to five. That's too much. There we go. 59,285, 59,296. Wait, did a torpedo not go in? Yeah, it did not. Okay, there we go. Not too bad looking, honestly. Not too bad looking. I'd like more eights on her, but I think she'll be fine the way she is. I'd have to sacrifice this turret to get another set of eights on her. Uh, say hello to the Otho. All right, we do have a peace deal with the Japanese. So uh, they have no provinces for us to take since we took Borneo away from them. They are stuck on the home islands. They have not been able to spread their wings at all during this campaign. So we didn't get a high war score. So we're going to grab $282 million off of them. And that's about it. At least this will give us a chance to get our uh, economy fixed. We're st even at war, we're still growing on a 7% rate, but that is not enough. Now spend... Now that we're no longer at war, we're spending $561 million a month with the new ships that we're building and the ones that are at sea. This is about to balloon as my ships move into port, and then we begin the refits. The new battleship is over $4 billion in 1925. That's an expensive ship. So, uh, yeah, we got issues. And interestingly enough, look at this. Spain has become the new France. I guess they finally have a peace treaty with the Germans, and while I was busy over in the Pacific, I wasn't looking over here, was not paying attention at all, and Spain just ballooned out into France. Why my government did not take over southern France when it had the friggin' chance is beyond me. It was an ungoverned territory, and we're right on the border of it, and we're not taking it. Same thing with Slovenia and the Baltic regions. Why my government's not making those moves, I do not understand. It could just because of the political party that's in charge right now. We have the center parties in charge. That could be the region reason for it. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because we do still have the monarchy in place. You figure they'd be trying to grab up all the old Habsburgs lands, but the the Spanish branch of the Habsburgs seems to be doing fine right now. We're not spreading out as much as I thought. I thought we'd have more of Africa at this point, but it is what it is. Was this ungoverned? No, okay, that was French. That's right, okay. I just want to see somebody controlling that recently, but no, that's French. Americans are really spreading out. English Empire slowly starting to die on them. Ooh, Eastern India is up for grabs. Hmm. Russians control part of Vietnam. That's interesting. World is weird right now. It is a weird, weird place. <laughs> I 
how are we looking on the politics front since I got the screen open? Uh, it looks like the British hate us again. We've been slowly working on the Americans trying to get them to like us more. Spain looks like they want to fight us again. So the only people like us right now are the Germans, the Soviets, and the Chinese. And I can care less about the Soviets and the Chinese. Actually, I'd, I'd rather go to war again with the Soviets and take more land from them. But uh, I would like to go back and take Ukraine from them and then work over to northern ports. I could grab that and then... Uh, our government did have us trying to attack the Ottoman Empire while we were at war with Russia earlier. But we need over 200,000 tons to land anywhere in the Ottoman Empire. We just didn't have that. And they've actually taken over Albania. Interesting. I'm surprised, and we have Egypt surrounded and not made a move against it. But they are one of our minor allies. So that does explain that. But all this ungoverned territory that we are just not grabbing is boggling my mind. It is what it is. So my fleets are on their way back from the Pacific Theater. Berbera fleet should be getting in, getting repaired. La Spezia fleet will be getting repaired. As soon as the repairs are done, we will begin the refits. So fleet probably won't be back in the war until 1926 at the earliest. Hopefully we can keep wars off until then. All right, it's now November of 1926. I've gotten all my ships through refits. And uh, one of the new light cruisers is built. One heavy cruiser is built. I'm slowly starting to shift forces out into the Pacific region. And Spain has declared war on me. United Kingdom has declared war on me. I don't understand why they did it. Their empire is kind of starting to implode on them, starting with India. Just basically historically accurate for this time period. Uh, or any time period, really. They've always had issues while trying to hold it. So, uh, yeah, Spain, which has basically no fleet except for a bunch of torpedo boats and destroyers, decided to clear war on me. Uh, we're now invading into southern France. Hopefully that won't be too hard of a fight for us. I'm going to ignore Spain for now and focus on England. So I have started a naval invasion of Malta. I got one fleet in the region. I got to move the uh, Berbera fleet into there, but they do have one of their ships in a fight. You gotta take care of first. So There's gonna be a heavy cruiser on heavy cruiser duel. So let's go jump into this one. All right, we've engaged their heavy cruiser at a range of around a little over 11 kilometers, about 11.5. All right, and this is an older design. This is an armored cruiser design. It does have a lot of guns, but it doesn't look like they can fire at us yet. These are probably looks like sevens in the main turrets. With dual fives, possibly, or dual sixes. Hmm. Kind of an odd design, but we have the Tag the Amenta, which has a veteran crew and the 11 inch guns, and hopefully they can uh, take them down quickly. Why do we have 0% accuracy? We do have a 32 second reload, so we should be able to outfire them. You have the coincidence rangefinder on here. We shouldn't have any accuracy issues. Right, let's drop the full speed. Any strikes? No. Go ahead and turn broadside for me. Those threes that you... Twos or threes that you're rocking are not going to hit us. Dual turrets back here. Kind of interesting. I would never think about putting a pair of duels on there. Some hits on the bat right there. I'm not sure what guns were just firing. Probably were. Oh, she's flashing off already. Beautiful. Flash offs are great. I'm a little slow on the uptake on that picture. Oh well. That would have been a beautiful screenshot. Yeah, 
that she's not long for this world. Maybe we'll have her sunk before. Yeah, she's taking on plenty of flood water. You have no flood protection on her whatsoever, apparently. Oh, looks like she's got it under control now. That means they're almost at 20% chance to hit. As long as one or two shells are hitting, we're going to keep flooding her. I'm happy with that. Let's bring that range in a little bit. I did just fight a minor action against a British light cruiser out in the Pacific doing a convoy escort mission, and that thing was very modern. This thing is not. <laughs> And now it's probably going to have all that plot armor and not sink. I keep hitting with flood, but it's not losing any float. There it goes. Now it's starting to lose some float again. Looks like she scratched our paint a little bit. Nice, easy little fight there. All right, time to move that uh, Africa fleet up into the Med. All right, we moved uh, two months on. It's now January of 1927, and the Tagliamenta, which is supposed to be part of the Barbera fleet, uh, was left down in port. She did have to take some repairs after that last fight. And as I'm moving her up to rejoin the fleet outside of Malta, uh, she's come into contact with a battle cruiser group or a heavy cruiser group supported by a light cruiser. So these three heavy cruisers are the same class as the one we just fought. But this right here, the light cruiser Archer, this is dangerous. This is the most dangerous ship in the fleet, even though she's only 6,700 tons. And she's only got uh, two five inch mains and one three inch main or secondary. She's got six dual deck torpedo tubes and 10 underwater torpedo tubes. This is a dangerous ship. We might be able to sink her fast, hopefully. But if she gets that torpedo broadside off, I could have some issues. Not worried about the rest of these ships. This I am worried about. Uh, we're not going to bother with drawing from this. I want to put these things to the bottom. The faster we put the British ships to the bottom, the better for us, especially since they got a all out offensive going on in Africa. So let's jump into this one. Alright, we've engaged one of the ships at a range of around ten and a half kilometers at one of the heavy cruisers. Another one firing behind over there. And we do have some fog going on, but it's starting to dissipate. I want to do. I want to get that light cruiser spotted soonest, so I can take that down off the bat. She's already taking some mine damage. That's good. Where's the light? There. No. Nope. Why are we aiming at two different ships? Aim fully at the one ship. Everything at the one ship, please. Take them down one at a time. We'll put the secondaries onto the light cruiser when we get her spotted. And they already got a hit on me. And it was a flooding hit. Alright, these ships are a lot more accurate than the last one I fought. Sitting 
right outside of torpedo range, and I do have the deck launchers on her. We're already taking a bit of flood damage. We take a lot more flood damage than the AI does. It's always BS. Torpedoes on safe so we don't go off unless we get a good fire solution. They're doing quite a bit of flood damage to us. There we go. Good hits right there. Barely any damage on it, though. Alright, I may have to run from this fight. Here's that light cruiser. Let's get our secondaries on her. Change in our angle. And drop down to full. I thought I'd already done that. That's what I want to see. I want to see blocked shots. Our secondaries are starting to hit her. Let's take a look at her. Yep, same class I fought out in the Pacific. Okay. Once we get once we start landing hits on her, she should go down quickly. That's a very modern look in this ship. I'm not building anything like that yet. I was able to rip one of these down with a with a destroyer. It's kind of rip right through it. Start moving away from her. Some flood damage on that lead heavy. There we go. 612 with the secondaries. We can go right through. She's already fired off her. That came from one of the heavies, I think. Yeah. Let's start turning. Oh, we gotta get away from her. Get your mains on her, too. She's the scariest ship of the group. out of her yet, but they're going to be coming. Maybe I was going to strike. And one might. Boom. Good hit, too. She got... S one of her deck launchers fired, and I don't see them. Just sent out two more. What's going on with my steering? Oh, my rudder's. Oh, my rudder's fucked. That's not good. Let's keep going that way. <laughs> That'll be easier. That will be easier. We got our rudder repaired here pretty quickly. I'm not holding out hope, though. Goodbye. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. Ooh, we just got lucky. Maybe since we sank that light, I think they may want to disengage, hopefully. 
Let's put ourselves into a retreat and see if they chase us. We just took down all their torpedo launchers, basically. Chase. Looks like maybe. Nope, they're not chasing. But I can't fight it out with a damaged rudder like that. They launch torps at me. I won't be able to avoid them. All right, this might take a few minutes, so I'll be back. All right, in a very, very interesting turn of events, the uh, heavy cruisers did try to chase me down, much to their uh, demise. So uh, they stayed in the chase with me the entire time. I managed to knock them off one at a time. They just did not want to give up the chase. I don't know why. Idiotic move. My 11s basically, uh, while in the chase, I was able to plunge fire through their decks and just rip them apart. So... Victory for us, yay. I lost 300 crew member in that. The Tagliamento is messed up, don't get me wrong. Tagliamento's a mess right now. She barely survived. So she's barely afloat and has barely any structure left. But I think the loss of 300 men to taking down 3,983 of theirs and all four of the ships, I'd say the damage was worth it. She's probably going to be in dry dock for quite a few months, but worth it. It's now March of 1927, and uh, we're continuing our invasion of Malta, though not too high of a success chance here, even with all my biggest ships in the region. But the uh, Spanish have moved a small fleet into the area, so the battlecruiser Bruzo of uh, 26,900 tons has taken on the battleship Trinfante of 19,469 tons, a light cruiser Santa Lucia of 4,200 tons, and a destroyer. Rayo of 623 tons. I've run into the Spanish a few times now, and they've run from every fight I've gotten into, so uh, hopefully they'll hang out and fight this one out with us. All right, we've engaged the Spanish fleet of a range of about 20 kilometers. They do not have us sighted yet. So hopefully we can get some uh, early shots in there to uh, put them down. Bruzo is doing some drifting, even though she's only got 23 knot, 28 knots of speed. Okay, there we go. Some early hits. Good damage on that hit, too, but that is a... Battleship is lighter than our heavy cruiser. And that's definitely the battleship. It's in... What am I looking at? It's got no forward guns. Everything's facing rearward. What the hell is this? It couldn't even fight me if it wanted to right now. All I gotta do is stay in front of it. What an interesting design. Let's reload on my 13s. 39.8 seconds with the veteran crew. Secondaries are engaging. Question is, can I drop the ships before they are even able to fire at us? It's gonna take a while for the lights to get into range. That was a nice hit. All right, she's starting to get her rear turrets facing us. So let's get back in front of her. Good 
Could probably just slow down a little bit, make it easier to hit. Because I don't think this shit's going to touch us now. She is listing heavy. Only this one battery might be able to fire at us. Yes, yeah, so let's drop down the full, which is 23 knots. Give us a better chance to hit. Try to finish her off quickly. And uh, we'll go in and get the light into the destroyer as quickly as possible. Kind of want to get this turn over with them. I'm running out of recording time. The episode's not that long, but I've been at this for quite a few hours. Why'd you shift the mains? She's not sunk yet. I mean, she's going down, but she's not dead yet. She's retaining what little float she has. Stop switching the guns. She goes. She's about to go down. There she goes. Let's go uh, hunt the rest of these uh, little guys down. One good hit from the main should send the light cruiser to the bottom. Make sure we stay out of their torpedoes. They have nothing but older ships. It's just. Been getting close enough. Put your secondaries, everything on the one ship. Everything on the one ship, please. There we go. Now you can fire at the other one. Oh, hello. Oof. There goes a lot. Like I said, one good hit from the mains and finish her off. <laughs> nice quick little fight. It's the first time the Spanish have actually stood and fought us. We, got, we took no hits, lost no crew. Took down 1,388 of Spaniards, all three of their ships. Told 3,011 victory points. Alright, we have ourselves another heavy cruiser duel here with the Brenta. Out in the Pacific engaging uh, another British heavy cruiser. One of those older armored cruiser hulls. She's got the two 10 inch guns on her and a number of secondaries. So we do have heavy fog here. They did spot us before we spotted them. Apparently, I forgot to add the uh, radio direction finding radios onto the Brenta class, but that's all right. Way more guns than I do. I think we're going to have the better accuracy. We're up to 36% accuracy on our 11s. Once we start landing salvos from the 11s, that should be it for her. I'm surprised she's getting pen shots at this angle. But this, this heavy cruiser is kind of a glass cannon. I won't mind losing her, but I do kind of need her as the basis of my uh, Pacific fleet. Uh, the new battleship did just complete, so she's commissioning now. She's about three months from commission. And we ricocheted, really. It's her angle right now. She's moving away from us. She's running. Ricochets. I'm a little surprised. We got three batteries on her now. Up to four. Hmm. Switch over to HE. The 
C state does have a slow down a bit. Should be able to catch it with the C state going to 18 knots. Mm, she's gaining distance pretty quick. Keep setting fires. Burn her down if we have to. Here we go. Got our aim back up again. Let's keep burning her. She's not running anymore. Alright, select your shells on the heavies. There we go. We got a broadside so we can pierce right into her. That's what I want to see. He is doing quite a bit of damage to us, though. And she sent torps out and I wasn't paying attention. Not gonna hit us, though, thankfully. That one will. Shite. You done? Nope. Of course not. Hopefully she doesn't see our torps coming in the weather. What? That one just had a gyro failure. This one's definitely going to hit possibly this one. No, nope, that one's going to go right by the bow. That one's going to take it right in the bow, though. And of course it's a dud. Of friggin' course. This fight's be harder than it should be. She's flooding good now, so... She's doing a lot of damage to us on return. That is not good. Cool. There she goes. She did a lot of damage to us. Wow. Not expecting that. Here's another 3,500 victory points, though. We lost 226 crew to their 1,106. You know what? She is a little more heavily armed than the other heavy cruisers of that type we have fought. So this one's probably newer. Only 188 million. More expensive than mine, okay. So definitely newer. All right, it's now May of 1927 and the war which Spain and Great Britain are trundling along. So uh, we have taken northern Algeria. We actually did take this. I forgot to mention it. We took it right before we began the uh, war with the British Empire. So uh, we do control northern Algeria now. We have just taken Malta. So my fleets are now on their way over to Cyprus. The British are attacking me all over my empire. But all of their offensives have 6,000 men or less. They are not making any headway. The British, their military is basically done. Uh, and I figured out the reason we went to war with them is we were allied with China, which I totally forgot about. And England was at war with China, so naturally we got drug into it. And it's been working in our favor. The uh, Chinese have been lending a hand with our defenses. So I'm hoping once all these offensives are finished, yeah, 6,700 6, men, 6,000, 7,000 with 17,000 17, gone. 5,000 with 4,600 gone. Yeah, they all of these offensives have next to nobody involved in them. So I'm hoping once these offenses are finished, we'll be able to, my army will take the offensive into their regions because they have nobody to defend them. Their army is spread thin and low on manpower. And our offensive into southern France against the... <laughs> the Spanish French, I guess you would call them, since Spain controls it. 
uh, is 52% of the way along. And that's taken a while. It's been, it's been kind of grindy. This has been a kind of grindy assault as, as far as I'm concerned. It's taken us quite a while to get that 52%. But then again, attacking over the mountains here into southern France, never, never good. Never good. But I do believe this is where we're going to end this episode. Is I've been going at this game for quite a while. I have quite a while, right? Probably two hours of video and five hours of game time just to get that two hours of video. It takes a while with this game sometimes when nothing when nothing happens and load screens. It takes a while sometimes. And I'm just out of record time for today. So once again, if you are a new viewer, returning viewer, you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. Follow along with the series and join it. Don't forget to drop an AP shell into that like button and HE shell into that comment section. And I will see you all in the next episode. Stay grumpy.